Hey guys, Seb here, today with another review of books. Um, we are going to see George Bridgman today, one of the most important art teachers in art history, or at least in the 20th century. Um, he used to teach at the Art Students League in New York, and uh, he was one of the greatest uh, anatomy teachers. So, um, we're going, I'm going to talk about these three books mainly, and mainly about constructive anatomy, which I think is probably his most relevant book, or at least one of the most important ones. Mm. <coughs> Today there are many uh, of his books are, are in, in print, um, but I would recommend you, if you're going to study Bridgman, you first get this one, because these are the best qualities that you can find in the mar market right now. Some people, uh, like, ideally you should get this one, uh, Com Bridgman's Complete Guide to Drawing from Life. <laughs> But nowadays editions, like the current editions there are, and also this one, uh, the drawings are not very, like, they have been rescanned risk so much that some of the drawings right now look very, like, very washed out. So it's hard to see uh, the actual drawings. At least in this edition. The edition from the 70s that some teachers nowadays have is very good because they, the drawings are still very good and look uh, like very uh, high quality. But uh, these editions right now, I wouldn't recommend the big one. I would recommend these, the, the small ones. The big edition is just um, like all of those small books uh, smashed together, but these, edition, these small books from Dauber, the drawings have much better definition, so it's easier to study from them, okay? So I would recommend you get this one, which I'm going to review in, in another video, uh, which is the Book of a Hundred Hands, and um, had some fe heads, uh, features and faces is also good, but in Bridgman, um, Heads are kind of hard to study. I would recommend if you're going to study heads, you use probably Patrick Jones is the best books to study uh, heads or or Michael Hampton or just Watts. Uh, like Jeff Watts courses are super good in that regard. So let's talk about constructive anatomy. I think um, this book uh, is probably the best one to study anatomy uh, because... The way Bridgman shows the anatomy is uh, very special, okay? So, he's a master of showing you how things actually work instead of just drawing an anatomy. And he is very good at indicating the structure of things. Uh, so, let's, for example, take a look at this here. So, he will show you uh, how, uh, for example, the arm works and indicate the specific mechanisms of the body so it makes it easier for you to understand what you should be actually knowing before drawing and then he moves on to the to the muscles and he's very good specifically if you like this kind of design i mean if it's visually attractive to you the way he draws like for example these these two pages are beautiful if you like the way he draws, it's very good to study from him because you can put this into your artwork after you study it a lot. And it can make you a much better artist or make your drawings uh, much more attractive. <laughs> the only bad thing I would mention about Bridgman is his drawings are sometimes hard to understand on how to study them. So that's when you think you gotta, one thing you gotta look out when you are studying Bridgman, um, because it, it might uh, be a little bit counterproductive if you don't know what you're seeing, okay? So I would recommend when you are learning Bridgman, um, you maybe pair him with another anatomy book. Uh, I would recommend the Paul Richer one or the Elliot Goldfinger one, which uh, I, would I would leave uh, some links below in the video. But this one, this book, you need to have it. It's probably the best book on anatomy out there uh, on the design sense, okay? 
is my, I mean, if you if you just want to know where the muscles are, what are their names or their origins and insertions, and insertions, I would probably get another book first. But if you, your thing is drawing, this is probably the best book because his design sense and the way he designs muscles and structure to look uh, cool and attractive uh, makes it so, so interesting. Okay. So here it is, uh, is George Bridgman's Constructive Anatomy, uh, an excellent book, and I totally recommend it for any art student, okay? Now we have some time, so I'm going to talk about this one, Heads, Features and Faces. Um, the only thing about Bridgman in this regard is that his heads uh, doesn't look don't look quite as good because the way he thought was a very complex one. They say he used to teach with a bamboo stick with a chuck on the tip and that's what that's the way he drew. So for him while teaching a lot of students it was very hard to draw properly. So sometimes his head drawings look uh, a little bit wonky. But from this book uh, you can study, it's, it's a very small book, fairly small, you can study how he constructed features like the eyes and that part of this book is very interesting heads uh, sorry eyes uh, mouth nose uh, were very good in in his drawings so it's an interesting one although you can also study that from the constructive anatomy book uh, these books are fairly cheap they are like six dollars seven dollars so probably can get them all and it's it's good and this one is so good the book of a uh, of a hundred hands the way he draws hands is very beautiful and is very like kind of michelangelo feeling so you can study a lot from from this book from his drawings to understand how to properly create hands it's very good look at this when you're studying his drawings um it's good that you understand why he's doing all these uh, lines. It means shadow or half tone usually. So you better watch out for that to see what you're doing. I would recommend uh, you pair this book with, as I told you, um, another anatomy book. And sorry guys, um, I kind of have a little bit of rhinitis. So yeah, this is it. Uh, the Bridgman's books. Very good books. Um, Bridgman is something uh, that's very important to study. And that's it. Okay, see you guys. Bye-bye.